on the outside. The man just passing me told me there there's a big storm out there and uh, it'll probably come in the next couple of days into here. So it was wonderful that he told me that. Migrating ducks are coming through this area in November and they've had a remarkable effect on this area. Some ducks have been bringing the seeds for what is in particular blue spruce. And these spruce trees only grow within a mile of this area and their seeds have been brought here from the south by migratory ducks which is a special situation. These blue spruce do not grow any further than a mile inland. Lots of mosses and lichens grow on these rocks. Mostly gray wacky. Everywhere trees are just covered with lichens. See you out about. Everything that grows here has a wonderful life because there's endless rain. Nearly every day, some kind of rain occurs. Everything is very lush, green, and soft. And the area where you can't see any rocks is muskeg. It's very deep. And to construct any kind of structure, they have to drive polings down until they hit the ash layer that was deposited ages ago, which is a solid support. You can't just build a structure on muskeg and expect it to stay there. Sitka spruce that it lives here lasts forever, in one way or another almost. And some more interesting plants. To look at. These rocks have been smoothed by glaciation in addition to wave action. And here are some more wonderful examples of lichens that are growing on any kind of soft absorbent bark. Here is a wonderful example of a fern, and you can see its sporophytic bodies on the leaves. And of course, lots of... Out on this rock are some 
small birds, they're probably migrating. Ordinary gulls, 